my friends. T today we'll go through the installation steps of Oh My Z Shell on two Linux distros, Ubuntu and Rocky Linux. Oh My Z Shell will transfer your terminal into something a lot more readable with icons, coloring and themes. This will in return improve your efficiency. So let's get right into it. I'm running Rocky Linux and Ubuntu using VirtualBox and Vagrant on my MacBook. If you want to know more about Vagrant, watch my videos on the subject. The installation steps for different Linux distros are mostly the same. You'll just need to use different package managers and the required packages could already be installed on your system. Start by updating the package manager on your distro. On Rocky Li Linux use DNF and on Ubuntu use apt. Next install zshell and util linux user using your package manager. zshell is a replacement for bash and util linux user installs some of the dependencies like change shell command. On Ubuntu, you only need to install Zshell because Change Shell is already available. Now that Zshell is installed, we're going to change our default shell from bash to Zshell with the following command. This will change the shell for the current user and ask for your password. As you can see, bash is still the default. You can log out and log back in to make zshell the default. And when opening the terminal, you'll be prompted to configure zshell using a wizard. The steps to change the default shell is the same on Ubuntu. On Rocky Linux, we need to install git and wget using DNF Package Manager, as shown here. On Ubuntu, git and wget are already installed, which you can see by using the version option. Now install omyzshell oh on your distro with the following wget command, which is also in the description. Now we need to copy a template to our zshell rc file and reload zshell rc to make the template active using the source command. This step works the same on all distros. One of the best themes available for Omai oh Zshell is Power Level 10K, which is what we'll configure next. You can clone the theme with the following git command. Then open Zshell RC file and on line 11 change the theme from Robbie Russell to power level 10k. I'm using Vim as a CLI editor to edit the file. If you're new to Vim, then make sure to watch my video on this or use a different editor. Now if you reload a Zshell RC file again, you'll be prompted a wizard to configure power level 10k theme. At first, you'll be asked a few questions to make sure the theme is set up correctly. After that, you can customize the theme as you desire. Go through the options and choose whatever makes you happy. To recap, start by updating your package manager, then install zshell and, if necessary, the util Linux user package. Next, change your default shell to zshell Install git and wget if needed using your package manager. Install oh my Z shell, copy a template. Install power level 10k theme. Edit the theme in Z shell RC file. Reload your zshell RC 
to start the config wizard and go through the wizard. Here is a small demo on how the command line looks now with uh, all my Z shell and power level 10k. Hope you enjoyed this video about installing oh My Z shell and adding power level 10k as a theme to make the command line more friendly. And I hope to see you in the next video.